Hi, welcome to the sixth video of a drop of Excel. For anyone who has directly come to this video, please look at the introduction first and then the first five videos and then come back here to continue learning. All right, let's begin. Before we look at the six points that you have to learn, I want to kind of just, you know, revise one point where we were talking about the alignment of a date, right? So what I've seen is a lot of people struggle about working with dates in Excel. They think that Excel has bugs. They don't know how to carry out calculations with dates and a lot of other issues, right? So the key thing is to ensure that all your dates are right aligned. So I'm just going to quickly, quickly reiterate that. When we enter a date, a 4-5-2020, we don't know whether it is 5th April or 4th May, right? But it has gone to the right alignment, means it is a correct date, that is for sure. But when I enter 26-3-2020 and a 3-26-2020, one of it went to the right side, one of it went to the left side, because this computer that I'm working on is a DDMMYY format. So this is a correct date. Whereas this is not a correct date because it cannot have 26 months. So Excel did not understand this as a date. Hence it put it to the left aligned and therefore it became text. If you try to run calculations on such dates, it is never going to result in any proper answers. You will always keep getting errors. Hence, you should ensure that all your dates are right aligned. Once you get that right, everything becomes easy in dates. All right, let's begin learning. The first thing that we're going to learn is formatting dates quickly. So I have a date of birth column. Now, when I look at this, it does not have the month spelling. So we have already done this earlier. If I control shift down, if I select this and if I press control shift three, it automatically converts the month to a three letter month spelling, right? So it becomes very easy to read the date. So that was about just changing the format very quickly. But now we're going to look at a different problem where sometimes you feel that your dates are in numbers, very weird, but it comes like that, that suddenly your dates are being in numbers. So either somebody has changed some format or you received this file from somewhere it, you have exported this file from some system. The dates, you know it's a date column, but the dates are coming as numbers. Don't have to worry. Very simple. Select the entire column. On top, select the short date option. And suddenly, all your dates are formatted correctly. Similarly, you can try the long date option as well. So if I take the long date, this is because of the width of the column. So if I just double click to adjust the width, all my dates are formatted in the long date format. Perfect. And this is the one that we just learned. If I select and press control shift three, it becomes shortcut. Clear. So your month is spelled out in three letters. Moving on. How do I add subtract to dates? And then we will also see in the same sheet how to get the day's name from the date and how to get the month's name from the date adding five days. So I have this column. I'm going to add five days. So suppose I'm taking a date of 1st April. When I add five days, it will give me 6th April as simple as that. So when I do an equal to when I want to add days, I don't have to worry about any function. I just have to click on this plus five. That's about it. This will work perfectly if your date format is correct and it is light aligned. I double click on the right bottom as we have learned earlier. And all my dates are now five added automatically. It understands that January has 31, February has either 28 or 29, depending on the year. March again has 31 and so on and so on. And it does the plus five accordingly. Clear? So think of this as a delivery date kind of a column where you would need to add five days for delivery. Think of subtract three dates. This is like a reminder column. So I want a reminder three days before the actual date. Interesting. Very, very simple to add and subtract days from a date. Days name. Now, 16th May 1998. What day was it? For this, you have to buy this formula. 
equal to text tab take the date in the value parameter comma in the format text parameter in double quotes put d t d double quotes closed bracket closed i'll repeat in text first take the date comma in double quotes put d d d double quotes close bracket close enter when i double click this i get the day if you have any doubts put today's date in a blank cell try this formula and check whether that is the correct day or not this works perfectly now instead of three d's if i put four d's i get the full name of the day so three d's will give me sat sun man tu but the full name i will get with d d d d four d's similarly if i do a text comma double quotes m m m instead of d d d i put m m m i will get me j u n j u l and so on if i put four m's as before i will get the full name is it this is how you get the day's name and the month's name now i have particularly used these examples and i personally feel that this is very essential for somebody to know because when you are working with some invoice formats or some uh, tracking sheets or some inventory kind of sheets where you have purchases sales any such kind of data you might want to know which day of the week did that action happen so that is very easily derivable i have seen people doing this manually entering this data manually it's a very simple formula in just few seconds you can get your days from the date all right moving on how to quickly enter today's date now this is again very very useful if i press control and semicolon if i press control and semicolon what i get is today's date now i am recording this video on 31st march that is why you are seeing this as 313 2020 when i press enter it works right if i put a function called equal to today and directly close the bracket without putting anything in between so today function does not need anything in between you just have to open the bracket with the tab and close the bracket manually enter you again get 313 2020 so here you pressed a control semicolon here you did an equal to today function there has to be some difference right between the two so the difference is when you will open your computer tomorrow this today functions output the date today that you got as 31st march tomorrow that would automatically have become 1st april but this will still remain 31st march all right so where is it useful so let's say i have a date and a due date right i have a date and a due date uh, so this was let's say a purchase date where 20th march 2020 and i have to make the payment by let's say 2nd april 2020 okay now how many days in hand right to make the payment that's what i want to know so i can say this date minus today when i do this see i get a very weird answer this is because the date format is a short date i will make it general and it will tell me this is two days so whenever you are expecting a number make it general whenever you are expecting a date make it either a short date or a long date so now tomorrow when i will open this computer it will become one instead of two days in hand automatically why today i am on 31st march that is why it is showing me two days to go for 2nd april but tomorrow when i will open this computer i will be on 1st april so it will automatically become one day in hand to reach 2nd april so this is the kind of a situation or a use case where you can use this today function it's dynamic in nature it changes the date every day internally all right
with that we are done with what we had to learn for dates there is a lot 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 to learn in dates but as per my experience this much is enough for you to be able to start working with dates for your regular files if you have any questions in this video please drop it as a comment below in the section i will be more than happy to help and again again please guys please like subscribe share so that these things can reach a lot of people and they can learn further thank you so much for watching see you in the next video